you all for this opportunity. Um, I want to take a moment and recognize a few people. First, I want to recognize my God. I'm truly grateful uh, to be honored. Um, so I'm going to do this without crying, even though I am a bit of a crybaby. But I want to thank my mother, my sister, and my friend for being here. Um, and, and to all of you, really, for recognizing me. I was looking at the, the lineup, and I thought, oh my goodness, how do I stand up? to some people who've done some really awesome things, but I thank you all for seeing a vision in me that I don't sometimes see in myself. Um, to Dr. Fowler, uh, who's been a wonderful mentor of sorts, who's been a reference for a job, amen. And, <laughs> and that name goes far here. And so um, I truly want to thank you all. I was laughing as I saw this picture. I had no idea it was going to be blown up. I wore that sweater every day in third grade. And uh, it was a Christmas sweater, but uh, it was given to me by my favorite teacher, Mrs. Blassie, and those, it just reminds me of those things that you keep with you. And one of the things I plan to keep with me going forward is my faith and my commitment to diversity and inclusion in serving our youth. So I thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you for this opportunity. simple things in life, the values, the things that are important, team playing, um, knowing sometimes you're going to lose a round, but you have to get back in the fight. So I know that that teaches us perseverance. So here I am now, 2014 Community Development Officer for Reliance Bank. Uh, I just want to thank uh, my forefathers that pushed us the legacy of those great people that were at the club at that time. And at the current time, it has a great leader, Mr. Flint Fowler, Dr. Flint Fowler. Let's give him a hand, please. And I'm going to go to my seat, but I want to say that what we can do, community engagement is very important to me, uh, being in the community, supporting the young folk in the community. But I want to say that we should get behind the club uh, and push the, the club as far as we can. Great futures do start here. And guess what? Great futures continue here. And they're, they're happening right now. Great futures are happening right now. Thank you for this time. Sportsmanship. Uh, Mr. Henry Armstrong, which was the first multiple, multiple weight class boxing champ also worked at the boys club. I didn't learn until well into my adulthood who he was. He never told us. But years later I learned that I had been taught by a champion. So I appreciate the honor very much. St. Louis, her who boys club born and bred. Now St. Louis Boys Club of America Hall of Honor, tell them did. Thank you. I'm humbled. I'm, I'm truly humbled by this. And I'd like to thank Flint and all of the staff for even recognizing this. Uh, I've been around the club for a long time, and it, it comes around. And, and, and as I said, my, my greatest, one of my greatest thoughts about the club was being able to expose the club to my children who have gone through the club from little shorties to adults and have been very successful as a result. 